What is going on guys? Rick Kakis here, and I have been spending quite a lot of time in Mass Effect Andromeda, both playing the single player and the multiplayer. Definitely playing more of the multiplayer. Guys, there's going to be some pretty sweet multiplayer guides coming up shortly, because I've been doing gold and stuff pretty consistently, so stay tuned for that. But today, I wanted to bring you guys a quick tip video about something that will let you really get ahead, get a head start in the single player. Because you're going to have a lot more access to loot and resources if you do this. Now guys, if you enjoy this content and want to see more Mass Effect content, please remember to support the video by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. It really does help me out. So, what is this tip? Well, you're not going to be able to do this right off the bat for a single player. In fact, you have the availability to do this thing after the EOS mission. So after you've completed the big story arc on EOS and you've established a colony, you will then have the option to do this. Now, it's going to come up in the form of two different priority missions. So after you complete that EOS mission and then go back to the Nexus and discuss that mission with your superiors and, you know, choose whatever dialogue you want to choose, you're then going to have kind of two new missions. If you open your journal under Priority Ops, as you can see, we have a Trail of Hope and the Cryo Development Perks. The Cryo Development Perks is the important part to really getting this tip working. Now, you can do Trail of Hope. You don't have to do Deployment Perks first. You can do these Priority Ops in whatever order you want, but you know, you're going to be missing out on a huge benefit if you do Trail of Hope first. Now, when you're doing the deployment perks, all you really need to do is on the Nexus talk to this Russian guy here, and he is going to let you choose which people to kind of, well, I'm sure there's a better word, but defrost first. And there are several different options. You have multiple options under science pods, military pods, and commerce pods. You're going to get the option to unlock more of these different pods every time you level up your Nexus viability level. As you can see in the top right corner, I'm Nexus level two. The more things I do for the Nexus, this is going to increase and I'm gonna unlock more and more and more people. So if you've already you know, done this part and chosen one thing, you can simply choose the thing I'm going to recommend as the next group of people to unlock. Now, why do I keep talking about this tip to let you get ahead? Well, the thing that I unlocked, I'm not necessarily saying that this is the be-all and end-all best thing ever because I simply haven't unlocked all of them and I don't know, but something that really has been working for me and has astounded me with how beneficial it's been is to unlock the reconnaissance pod. Now, what unlocking the reconnaissance pod does is that, as you can see, it reveals hidden caches around established forward stations. This is huge. And by the way, it's really not established forward stations. It is everywhere. As you can see, when I open my map on this world, I can see every single hidden cache on this planet. When they're apparently near a forward ops station, even when you haven't established that station. So when you land on a planet for the first time ever, you can open your map, zoom out, and you will see a ton of these little chest icons everywhere. Those all symbolize a hidden cache. Now, what are in these hidden caches and why do you want them? Well, there's several benefits to them. Firstly, they're not guarded by anything. So if you're a beginning player or you're doing a playthrough on a higher difficulty setting and you just want some easy loot, these caches are for you. The way that these caches are hidden is just that they're in a relatively inaccessible or hard to find location. And that's benefit number two. Without this reconnaissance perk, you will probably not be finding these caches otherwise, unless you 
scour the environment because you know you'll see me go to these places they're just out in the middle of nowhere where you likely wouldn't be going and even if you do some of them are quite small and you could easily miss them so because of this reconnaissance perk you're going to find otherwise unattainable loot crates containing some pretty damn good things and what's actually in these caches well as you can see here pretty damn good stuff every single cache i've opened due to the reconnaissance perk has contained rare weapons or armor i get rare stuff every single time and usually multiple rare things it's not uncommon to open one of these hidden caches and get a rare weapon and one to two rare armor pieces and on top of that you're also getting some pretty substantial rare resources. Every time I open one of these caches, I get resources. I've even gotten the ultra rare element zero from these caches. And on top of that, you're also getting just currency in the form of you're getting the sellable items in these caches as well. So you're getting a pretty big amount of stuff from these hidden caches. And that's really why I'm recommending to unlock the Reconnaissance Cryopods. Because you get all of these things and it's going to give you a huge leg up on your beginning journey into Mass Effect Andromeda single player. You're going to get a ton of weapons and armor. Right off the bat, those are very useful. My armor has completely changed from these pods. Like I'm wearing pretty beneficial stuff that I've gotten from these pods. Not to mention great weapons that you can also start to use and also the resources so that you can use those to unlock more things to build more things including end game ultra rare weapons and armor and lastly even if you don't use any of this stuff you're going to be getting so much more money because of these hidden caches and I've seen several merchants with very good stuff ultra rare stuff so having a ton of spending money to go to these merchants and buy whatever you want is also a pretty huge benefit so definitely definitely invest in the reconnaissance pod is blown my mind how much loot how much resources i have gotten from these caches in fact now my biggest problem is having not enough inventory space to put all of this stuff and so guys, that is it for this Mass Effect Andromeda single player tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Mass Effect content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new uploads, be sure to press the bell beside subscribe. Now if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, Activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.